You know, the fallout has also spread to colleges and universities as well. Sexual misconduct allegations rocking the Ivy League. Both Dartmouth and Columbia have taken action against professors. And ABC's Lindsay Davis here with that story. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, George. In the case against Columbia University, we're talking about an esteemed professor who's been teaching at the university for more than 50 years. A doctoral student says he sexually harassed her and other students repeatedly while the school turned a blind eye. It's been extremely difficult but I think that it's a really important thing for me to have done for myself and also for others. We will call her Jane Doe, a 29-year-old Columbia University student who agreed to speak to us on the condition of anonymity, who says she was sexually harassed by distinguished historian and Columbia University professor William Harris. All come from Seen here around, in an interview with uh, the Cambridge University the Press Rock, about one of his uh, books. First of all, let's just think about power. Everybody is subject to power. In a lawsuit filed in early October, October, the doctoral student alleges over the course of 2014 and 2015, the now 79 year old historian pressured her for inappropriate and unwanted sexual contact with him on a regular basis, asking her for one on one readings, with him telling her, I want to help your career. On one occasion, he uh, pulled me toward him and started feeling up and down my back, and I just froze. She says he began to retaliate against her when she reported the harassment to other faculty members. I was told to just stop working with him and to ignore him, which didn't work. And I think that they also felt hesitant to get involved because he's such a high profile figure. Columbia University is also under fire in the suit, claiming Harris's behavior was long standing and well known at the university and that Columbia never took any meaningful disciplinary action despite other women spanning three decades saying Harris sexually harassed them too. Columbia recognizes the problem and finally took action. The problem is it took 30 years too long. Harris himself declined to comment on the case. Just this week, Columbia announced Harris was stepping down from his position. And in an email to students, Columbia said, Columbia must be a place where students and scholars are able to pursue their academic work free from worry about harassment of any sort. What made you decide to come forward with your story now? It became evident to me that if I did not come forward, no one else would. The Me Too effect spreading to other Ivy League campuses. Three Dartmouth professors from the Department of Psychological and Brain Sciences are under criminal investigation for alleged sexual misconduct. Todd Heatherton, William Kelly, and Paul Whalen have all been placed on paid leave by the college, and officials are not revealing specific details of the investigation. In a statement on Dartmouth's website, it says that sexual misconduct and harassment are unacceptable and have no place at Dartmouth. As for Columbia, they say Professor Harris remains an employee of the university, but has withdrawn from his teaching, advising, and other student-related activities. Guys. All right, Lindsay, thank you. Going to bring in our senior legal correspondent, Sonny Hostin, with this. We know that Tarana Burke was the woman who started the Me Too hashtag 10 yes. years ago. And, uh, you know, she was quick to point out that this goes far beyond Hollywood. And, and this is a little bit of what she had to say. Okay. We have to keep having these conversations, and it can't be just connected to celebrities. There are like a thousand other people in the community who are neighbors and fathers and coaches and friends who are committing these crimes and who are perpetrators. Sonny, you spent years prosecuting cases. Just mm -hmm. let people know how pervasive this is across all industries. It is pervasive across all industries. In fact, recent studies show that 80% of women who work say that they've been sexually harassed in the workplace. 71% of those women have never reported it. I remember when I was prosecuting crimes against women, sex crimes, 63% of rape cases, of, of, of rapes, uh, go unreported to the 63%. police, 63%. So they were very, very difficult to prosecute because we didn't have complaining witnesses. It sure seems like there's going to be a lot more reporting now. I guess the big yeah. question is, does that mean this is a watershed moment? It is a watershed moment. I think it start, first started in 1991, right, with the Anita Hill. That was over mm -hmm. 25 years ago. Most victims don't come forward because they think they'll be retaliated against. They think they won't be believed. They think they're in it alone. Now you have women coming in mass saying, this happened to me too. I think we're going to see more women come forward and accountability is the answer. Can I ask you another question about this? What do you do if you're in a workplace and someone comes and tells you 
this happened, mm -hmm. but I want to keep it confidential. Oh, see, I think bystander, uh, the bystander effect is extremely important. If someone comes and says, I want to keep it confidential, you need to speak to that person and say, why do you want to keep it confidential? I've seen it. I'll go with you. Right. You're not alone in it. And encourage the reporting. Encourage the reporting. And, and do you think this is going to change the way that companies and organizations deal with these type of issues? I think so. I mean, if, if you look at it, 98% of companies do have sexual harassment policies. 70% um, of, employ, uh, of employers do have sexual harassment training it's not enough now we need accountability people need to lose their jobs they need to be fined oh. they need to go to jail there needs to be accountability and no shortage of hot topics these days on the view no Whoa. no i'm heading over there right now thanks for coming <laughs> by here thanks, we'll be Sonny. watching you later sunny mm -hmm. thank you hi everyone george stephanopoulos here thanks for checking out the abc news youtube channel if you'd like to get more videos show highlights and watch live event coverage click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.